All right, so if you guys are a fan of One Piece, you will know that the most iconic item in that show and that whole series is Luffy, Monkey D. Luffy's straw hat, right? I mean, his crew is called the Straw Hat Pirates. So anyway, um, you know, I've been a fan of One Piece since I was like a young teenager when I was like a like a, like a a preteen. I started watching and reading the manga of One Piece 20 years ago and I only got like halfway through part one of the series, like before the time skip, I only got like halfway and then I stopped watching and reading the manga completely for like 10 years you know so i had like a whole 10 years where i had like nothing to do with it i didn't read it i didn't watch it nothing and then i went to japan and in japan one piece was everywhere you know it was like one piece advertisements uh, my friends all watched one piece and you know, I had a lot of friends that talked about One Piece, you know, read the manga and stuff. So then after I went to Japan, my interest in One Piece, like I guess it like reignited, re-sparked, whatever, you know, like I got a new interest in it. And I was like, you know what? I should like catch up on the show, you know, because right now I was like at 800, 900 episodes. I should probably catch up on it because when I was younger, I was really into the series. So when I was in Japan, I started watching the series again. You know, I picked up from like season two or season three or something and I started watching it again. And I pretty much got it all the way caught up until like um, the time skip, like the beginning of the time skip. When Anyway, so that's where I was, you know, I was watching it, trying to catch up, you know, I had plenty of time in Japan to watch like five episodes a day. So one day, me and a couple of my friends in Japan, we went to go shopping and we went to like a mall area. And while we were there, there was like a temporary store and it was the Shonen Jump Store. And if you know anything about the Shonen Jump Store, pretty much they have like anime themed items which have to do with the popular shonen jump anime slash manga which includes naruto one piece dragon ball z and bleach you know like those type of manga and anime um you know you see it all the time man like when you watch naruto shonen jumps naruto well, anyway there was a temporary shop called the jump store the shonen jump store and you know i had to go inside i'm like yo i love shonen jump i used to read that magazine when i was young i read it all the time i want to go to the store and see what they have so i went in there you know i bought some stuff stuff over there because there was there was a lot of items I wanted but I'm like you know why I like this I like this I'll buy this and this um one of the things I bought there at the store was law the heart pirates flag i got that flag at the jump store so you know you kind of get an idea of what they sold there and while i was browsing the store i came across luffy's straw hat they were selling like a replica of the straw hat and the thing i noticed is that the straw hat like they like it looked awesome but it was damaged like there was some like um rips like some scars on the top of the hat and you know it was like all stitched up and that was like the design i was kind of confused i'm like wait did luffy damage his hat like i don't remember him ever damaging his hat like when did he like damage it you know because like, like at that time I was catching up on the series and I and like I never noticed like his hat was damaged so I was really really confused and I was kind of thinking like when did this happen like does it happen like later on like like after the time skip like when he starts like growing up like later in the series because I was like at episode 700 800 at the time so I was thinking that it maybe happened like during like episode 900 so I was really confused and you know I asked one of my Japanese homegirls that was with me at the time and I showed her the hat now the thing about my Japanese homegirl is she doesn't watch One Piece she's not a fan of One Piece um she knows about One Piece and you know she said that her friends are into it but she doesn't like she's not into it she's not an anime fan and she doesn't consider herself a One Piece fan but when I showed her the hat she's like oh yeah I remember when that happened and i'm like girl you're, you're not even a one piece fan how do you know that like when this happened because i don't even know when this happened like when did luffy damage his hat and he's like kiko kiko bruh everyone and their mom knows about like luffy's hat and when it got damaged like come on dude you gotta really catch up on one piece like i didn't know you were that far behind like come on kiko come on man i'm not even a one piece fan and i know how luffy damaged his hat and she's just like come on dude catch up on one piece you gotta catch up you know so <laughs> So apparently everybody knows about like how Luffy damaged his hat and I was just confused. I'm like, dude, I don't remember it. If somebody came up to me and said like, yo, I'll give you a million dollars if you can tell me how Luffy damaged his hat, I wouldn't be able to answer them. And I'm just kind of like confused. And I'm like, all right. So like Japanese people that don't even watch the series or not, are not really into it, even they know. So I was just confused and I was just like, oh my gosh. I'm always trying to think really hard. And I was like, I gotta catch up on One Piece, man. Cause like, that's the most iconic item in the show. And I just kind of want to see like how he damages it, you know? So I caught up with the series and no nothing happened with the hat you know we're just him wearing it normally and nothing happened with it so i was like all right it's time for me to google this like i gotta google this was like the the straw hat replica was it just something like custom made or what was it like because I, I had no idea man <sighs> the answer is just really stupid really really stupid and i'm pretty sure a lot of you out there already know how it happens they don't even make it obvious in the anime that it's still damaged but pretty much it happens in 
season one, episode seven of the anime, and it is when Luffy fights Buggy the Clown, when they first meet and they fight. And Buggy pretty much takes the hat off of Luffy um, with his like his swords. The swords are going through the, the hat and Buggy is just looking at it and then Luffy gets like really angry and then they fight or whatever. And then, um, you know, Luffy gets it fixed up later on by like Nami or someone. So that's when that happens. It's like really early in the season, man. Really early in the series. Season one, episode seven is when his hat gets damaged. And I completely forgot about that scene. I completely forgot about that because it is never mentioned later on in the series. It's never brought up. And when you see Luffy wearing it, like you don't even see those scars, you know, like the like where it was stitched up. So yeah, that was just something that confused me for like a, you know, for like a good month, man. And I was over here trying to catch up on the series. Like, yo, when did this happen? When did this happen? Cause I, I didn't want to like spoil myself. Cause I thought it was going to happen like at episode 900 or 950 or something. Like that so i didn't really want to spoil myself so i'm just like i gotta catch up i gotta catch up and then i was kind of like wait hold up no this happened like way back in the day man and i completely forgot about it and yeah i just feel like really stupid and i guess my question for you guys is do you did you guys know that or did i kind of remind you right now or like you know did you forget about it you know let me know like did you forget you know let me know <laughs> drop a comment it's just a stupid topic i wanted to bring up today and yeah i uh, just wanted to talk about it for a little while but yeah over there in japan man yeah people over there do know about one piece even though they're not a fan of it like they do know about it and they do know the characters that's how big and popular one piece is in japan like everybody knows about it and everybody knows like the general information about it even though they don't watch it i guess it's just like with the advertisement and stuff it's just kind of like shoved in your face but yeah let me know what you think of this video you know drop a like drop a comment drop a dislike if you didn't like it and yeah i'll talk to you guys in the next one right peace out